Hey, how's going on YouTube? Welcome back to yet another amazing video. And in this video today, I'm going to be showing you guys how you can optimize PUBG Black budget to get better FPS, fix lags, and setter. So make sure to stick around till the end of this video because I'm going to be showing you guys the best game and PC optimization settings to help you fix all of that. Let's get started with the intro. Alright, step number one is the best Windows settings and for that simply search for settings onto your PC and once you're over here come down to personalization, head over to colors and then disable transparency effects. This will disallow windows and surfaces to appear translucent thus saving your unnecessary animations. Next step, head over to gaming, head over to game bar and simply turn this thing off. It is an overlay service and you do not frequently use this. Simply keep it off, it will help you to save resources. Head back to gaming, head over to game mode, turn this one on, it will help you to optimize your PC by turning things and applications off in the background, helping you to improve your FPS. Click on the graphics button underneath and you will find optimizations of windowed games, you wanna have to enable that. Then you will find advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerator GPU scheduling. Both of them will help you to reduce unwanted input and render latency and utilize your primary graphics card to render the game once that is done you have to click on add desktop app button over here and go to the download location of pubg you'll find it under steam apps common and then you have to scroll a bit down until you find pubg black budget head over to game binaries win64 and select the client.exe once you've added that scroll a bit down to find it select your gpu preference and select high performance over here this will ensure that you are using your primary graphic card to render the game once that is done head over to windows update and make sure that you are always up to date if there are any pending updates make sure to do that because it might be a possible reason for performance issues in the game next step is compatibility settings and for that open up steam right click on pubg black budget playtest head over to manage and then click on browse local files here head over to game binaries win64 right click on client.exe select properties head over to compatibility and click on disable full screen optimizations this will fix any kind of black screen issues if you guys are facing that also select change high dpi setting and select override high dpi scaling behavior this will get rid of unwanted input latency and once that is done you can simply close it the next step is actually disabling unwanted background applications and for that you have to search for edit group policy on your pc and make sure that this step will only be available for windows pro users once you are here double click on computer configuration then administrative templates windows components and then app privacy and you'll find let windows apps run in the background double click to open this policy up and make sure that this is set to enabled then default for all applications should be set to force deny and this will deny all of the applications from running in the background helping you to save your useful system resources once that is done simply close it next step is using gear up booster to fix all kind of packet loss ping issues and other network related issues along with fps boosting with one single application you can download gear up booster for free from the link in the description below by the way it has a library of more than 1000 games to choose from Search for PUBG Black Budget, you will find it right over here, select it and then click on the nearest region to you. For me, it would be Asia. And once that is done, it will one click optimize your network straight to the game server without any hindrance, removing unwanted ping, packet loss and other network related issues. So I have left a free download link to Gear Booster for you guys to go and check it out and let me know how it helped you guys. Next step is creating a restore point and for that simply search for create a restore point on your PC, look for it and open it up. Over here you'll find local disk C, click on the create button and name it PUBG so you can remember it. I would highly recommend you guys not to skip this step if you want to restore all of your settings back to normal without any form of data loss. Once that is done, click on close and close system properties. The next step is PUBG Black Budget FPS Pack, I'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below. This pack will help you to tune your PC and fix any kind of issues that might be causing your game to stutter, lag or crash. Let's start with the first one that is CPU priority in which I have left AMD and Intel CPU priorities. These are basically CPU affinities and it will help you to set up the correct D word values to optimize their performance on a very bigger scale. Once again, if you have an AMD CPU, you can double click and apply the AMD CPU priority. And if you guys have an Intel CPU, you can double click and apply the Intel CPU priority. Second folder here is RAM optimization in which I have left a ton of registries and you can apply this optimization according to your system. I have 32 GB RAM so I need to apply this one and applying this will help you to prioritize and optimize your RAM for better performance. And once again if that doesn't work out well for you guys you can always reset it back to default. 
Third folder here is PUBG Black Budget Priority in which I have left above normal, high priority, normal priority. I would request you guys to leave your PC specs down in the comments below and I'll be telling you guys which priority you need to choose over here. Fourth one is Disable Unwanted Services in which I have left a ton of services which are absolutely useless but they're still running in the background consuming a useful system resources. Except if you use any Bluetooth or printer services, I would recommend you guys to disable every single one of these services over here to help save your system resources and optimize the performance. And by mistakenly, if you have disabled any of these, you can head over to the revert registries folder and turn them back on. Fifth folder here is batch tweaks in which I have left these three command files which will help you to get rid of unwanted input delay. This one will help you to disable memory compression which actually utilizes up to 15% of your RAM and you don't want that while gaming. Right click and then run it as administrator and this will run a command prompt on the background which will disable memory compression. If you want to turn them back on, head over and change this disable to enable, save it and run it again. Second one is disable process mitigation which helps you to free up your CPU resources along with latency tweaks which performs the BCD edit tweaks on your PC to get rid of unwanted input latency. Last is the programs folder in which I have left clean temporary files you want to have to right click and run it as administrator select yes and after that you have to press enter this will delete all temporary files on your pc and i would highly recommend you guys to do it every now and then once that is done press enter next is msi mode utility 3.0 right click and then run it as administrator once you open it up all you have to do is find your graphics card over here click on the msi button next to it and for the interrupt priority select high click on apply and this will set up the correct priority for your graphics card allowing it to handle more interrupts more efficiently Last is nothing but Pro PC Optimizer V1.2. You can double click and open it up, run it and it will ask you to optimize your PC. This is basically a one click optimizer. Press enter and enter and this will start creating a restore point. Automatically, once that is done, you have to press enter once again and it will apply all of the best settings on your PC, less like that and it will optimize every single sector of your PC, just like that. Once that is done, you can simply close this. Next step is cleaning up your shader cache and this will automatically help you to get rid of unwanted black screen crashing and other FPS or stuttering issues. Simply search for disk cleanup over here and open it up. Click on your local disk C and select OK. Then select the DirectX shader cache files over here along with all of these files if necessary. Select OK and then click on delete files. This will clean up your DirectX shader cache forcing your game to recompile all of the shaders once again and if any corrupted shaders might be causing performance issues it will automatically fix that. Once all of that is done you can drop into the game for the best in game settings. Okay once you are in the game press your escape key and then head over to settings. Then you have to come down to graphics and then make sure that your display mode is set to windowed full screen or you guys can also go with full screen. For the display device, you have to use your primary monitor. Resolution should be your native monitor resolution along with your native aspect ratio. For a camera, I would suggest you guys to leave it to 90 but disable weapon depth of field as well as weapon motion blur. Under the graphics section, you'll find a performance preset. You have to set this thing to medium, anti-aliasing, go with DLSS if you have an NVIDIA based graphics or FSR3 if you have an AMD based graphics. Leave your max FPS to unlimited, VSync should be turned off and sharpen, you guys can disable this one as well. Simply click on apply and once that is done, you guys can now go into the game and enjoy the game with the highest FPS possible. Alright guys, so that is it for this video. I hope I could have helped you out. If I could have, make sure to leave a like and smash the subscribe button because it really helps me grow the channel. We are very close to 250,000 subscribers and your sub would definitely be appreciated. I'll see you all in another amazing video. Until then, stay tuned, keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.